Outpost by Finn the Mapmaker. Let's get started here on Ultraviolence on GZ Doom. Alright, looks like we got a little hub here. Red there, blue there, nothing there. 129, 41, and oh yeah, 90 secrets. Apparently there are actually only 32, which means 58 are just erroneously tagged secret. 32 seems like a lot for only four times as many monsters, but whatever, we'll see. Alright, uh, I like the lighting in here, triangle light coming off of there, we got a little bit of light from here and here, although nothing from here. And uh, yeah, even a circle of light off the lamp here. Blue and red and... Oh. Oh. Well, I died. Where'd the demon come from? I think he teleported. Try that? Of course I did. Dark. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting killed. I'm trying to adjust my screen a little bit. Nice little opening here. A couple of sergeants. Oh yeah. I don't know what happened to him last time. Armor there, that's probably one of the secrets. Oh that says exit. But it looks like he probably jumped off of there onto the armor. But if it's at the exit, then what's the point? Well we'll see. We got the blue key, we'll go this way. I'll get that barrel. Oh, that was wasteful. Okay. Oh, they're just gonna keep coming, huh? Somebody's getting killed by like a crusher, I think. Gosh. Yeah, I wasn't gonna survive that without fleeing the scene. So it seems like definitely a map of traps. Yeah, I didn't actually press use. That opens before you get to it. Huh. Do you have to touch it? Or is there a line right in front of it? Okay, when you touch it, that's the trigger. Yeah, you don't see that too often. But yeah, this is UDMF, so... It can be a little trickery. That's not even really trickery, but... You're not necessarily used to that. Okay. luckier that time. Crusher again. Is that it right there? Okay. Oh, is there anything in here? What the heck? Oh. 
There's one. So this was like a one-time lift, but it's impassable. You can't get through there anyway. So that's weird. I don't know if there's anything over here. Yeah, that's really weird. seen the key yet? I'm not sure. So I'm probably going to get the red key eventually here. See, it's aligned differently on this side. On this side you see all these vertical lines. On this side you don't. This kind of reminds me of Entryway, this staircase here. Yeah, a little bit boxy in here, but decent design. Got uh, skylights up there. Number of textures that supplement each other well. Not sure why this is a different flat. I would probably make it either this metal one or this brown one. Or something really different, something like Sean, like that. But that just seems like not a transition texture, used as a transition flat. Let's get a save here, this is Finn. This room obviously a little bit boring, just green, tech green, and some odd alignments with it too. I like the flickering lights here. Oh uh, no. I don't want to fight any demons with the chainsaw. I got a lot of shells, so we'll just go with that. Right? They're gonna be demons somewhere. Okay, here we go. Oh. Here they come. Well, that wasn't so bad. Phone's going off here. <laughs> All right, never mind that. I was expecting an important call later. Thought that might have been it early, but shouldn't be till much later. All right, forward we go. Oh. <laughs> Zerk up there. Oh, I lowered it. Well, I don't need it yet, but I'll try to keep that in mind. Hey, this is different. Oh, I really thought that would be something. Oh, I guess this one's different too. Yeah, I just kind of humped. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Kind of a clever secret. Ooh. Yeah, this is a nice view out here. This is really nice. I like the terraces, the lighting. I don't know if I'm ever going to get out there, but... <laughs> it's a nice sky, too. The SP Rock has a lot of misalignments, which wouldn't seem to be necessary. And I like how there's... A little bit of uh, the stone texture, you can barely see some brown ash wall too. Different stuff going on. Very nice. Alright, 
misaligned brick there. No need for that. Oh, is this teleporter? No. That would have been too easy. Alright, um... Okay, moving on. Wait, this is the way I came. What, uh... Let's just get out of it. Oh, yeah, that's a secret. So we're up to two. Oh yeah, this was all just that one little side quest, basically. There's the red key. Oh, now that's open. Alright. Yeah, we're seeing these little gotcha traps a lot. Teleporting demons. That's a weird combo up there. SP rock. What's the lift? What does it do though? Nothing. It's weird. Alright, we got some crushers. Okay, we're gonna get rid of these barrels right away. So yeah, a lot of the traps have been kinda Like, obviously, this is a trap. I think a lot of players prefer something a little bit more organic feeling. There's a lot of shells, not as many bullets, so... Okay, the switch will open that up then. Yeah, I mean, it's it's okay to put progression features in a trap. I like that. Especially if, you know, if it's a trap that's bound to spring at some point. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So as you're walking down, you may not see what you're going to do, but then, boom, trap opens. Switch. Yeah, there we go. This got trap written all over. Oh, that actually did open. <laughs> Wait, was that a trap or did I open that? <laughs> I'm not even sure. Oh, that's a secret. Okay. Already to 3 out of 90. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, that. I mean, it's just a. It just lacks elegance a little bit to have. I mean, there's not even a teleporter pad again, so it's just boom, sergeants in your path. It's actually a teleport. Oh, okay. Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, that's the beginning of the level. This looks like it's something. So yeah, speaking of lacking elegance a little bit, I mean, so yeah, here's where you start. You go all the way over here to get the red key. Over here and all the way around and over. And then it's kind of like, well, I don't know what to do with you, so I'll just teleport you back to the start, because we all know we don't want to do this whole backtrack, but, so, what would be a little bit more organic would be, you know, the basic looping design, where after I'm here, it's not that far to get back here anyway, or I'm up high, like if all that landed me in the basement right over here, and boom, there's a lift, and I come out here, and I say, oh wow, look at me, I'm right at back at the beginning, how convenient. Now that's a little bit more organic than just to throw a teleporter out there. Alright, something on the auto map. Huh. Nothing there. I know it opens.
Oh well. Nice little preview there. This yellow key, I believe, is the exit. Okay, so I don't have the yellow key yet, but I can see this exit, which means I can probably get that armor early after all. I like the drains, the nukage drains. That's pretty cool. There we go. Ugh. This is impassable, that's really weird. Okay. I don't think I can make that jump. Chain gun. All right, I guess I go this way. Try to find a yellow key. Wait, a yellow card for that? Oh, interesting. Everybody die. How about that? Oh, okay. I don't have a rocket launcher, but fun nonetheless. A little dark maze. Uh oh. Oh. For some reason I was not expecting that. Should have been expecting that. Kind of a nice trap. See, yeah, that one felt a little more organic to me. Than just, you know, boom, teleport. Something like that. But yeah, that's how most of the traps are. Oh gosh. Yeah, that too. I mean, it's not that they're too hard, obviously. It's just like... It's just kind of, well... I'm playing a video game. Yeah, it's, it is a little bit version breaking, because it's just so obvious how it's happening right now. I like the torches up there with their flickering effects. It's a cool area where outdoors meets indoors. Little porch, covered porch area here. There's my yellow key. Switch will do it. Can I get around here? Oh, I can. Awesome. Alright. I don't have a plasma gun though. <laughs> Oh, is that a yellow lift? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, you don't see that in uh, Standard Doom. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, this is, am I done already? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a lift too, that's kinda cool. That's a yellow lift. Can't get up there, that's weird. Guess we're done. Alright. Yeah, really not a bad map, just a couple of kind of annoying things that aren't really that huge a deal, but the way that the traps are implemented often feels a little gotcha, kind of cheap, like boom, monsters, teleport right in front of you. I think I think players appreciate a little bit more organic approach to unleashing the monsters. And then also the progression at the one key, 
the second key was good. You got the yellow key and you were right in front of a lift that was like kind of a shortcut and then you had the other yellow door which was the exit. It was right there. That was, you know, that was solid. But then the red key, you like went way away from the red door and then it was just boom, teleport back to the beginning. So that just kind of felt like, okay, we're just avoiding the backtrack, just kind of a cheap teleport. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the combat. I enjoyed especially really the incidental combat in this one. I like the, the uh, crusher section. And even many of the traps were fine, just the way that like visibly how they were set up was just a little felt a little bit lazy I think um, decent appearance overall nothing too outstanding either good or bad um, yeah I mean overall just pretty solid stuff those are those are basically my main complaints just that that the traps felt a little um, a little bit cheap, not not in terms of difficulty, but just how they're implemented. Alright, that is Outpost by Finn the Mapmaker.